how cute that is what's good youtube welcome back to my channel <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you guys my belly button piercing collection. Yeah, basically somebody asked if I could do this video, so I thought it would be fun to do. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video, subscribe to my post notifications, comment any videos you want to see or comment anything. I really appreciate it and I'm starting to post more often, so make sure that you subscribe and for sure, for sure, stay tuned. Okay, and I just want to put this in because because I did have someone ask me about how I take care of my belly button and all that stuff. So I got it about almost five years ago, so I personally don't clean it anymore. Um, but I definitely did for at least six to eight months since when I got it. Um, and definitely when you go, they kind of explain to you the process of having to clean it and everything like that. For me, I didn't have really any problems. I feel like if you clean it like you're supposed to, I think they say twice a day and then slowly as time goes on, you do once a day, and then you can do it like a couple times a week. Um, if you do that, you should have no problems, knock on wood, as long as like you're not like allergic to the metal or whatever, but make sure that you go to like a legit place that'll give you a nice sterling silver piercing instead of like a fake one or something. Um, but basically what I did was I made my own solution so I would have water and then I would put salt in it because that salt is going to help sterilize your piercing and what I would do is I took a shot glass and I would warm up my water and I'd put the solution inside the shot glass and basically what I would do was I would put it on my stomach and then I would flip over and because of gravity and things I can't really explain the water won't spill out as long as you um, secure it really well it kind of suctions onto it and basically I would lay on my back with that um, shot glass full of the solution which is warm water and salt for like one or two minutes a day you could do it for longer I feel like definitely as time goes on though when you're not doing it so regularly each day. I feel like you could just kind of listen to your body. If it feels kind of irritated or itchy or just if it hurts, I feel like there's no harm in putting warm salt water on it whenever. And that's kind of what I did. When I got it done, I got it done in the summertime. So I did want to go swimming at one point. So what I had was I had um, like a waterproof bandage that was super big and I put it over my stomach. You might look dumb, but you don't want an infection. So definitely be aware of that. Like if you're going to go in chlorine or in the lake, especially just be careful of that and cover up. I would just say you don't have to wear like loose clothing all the time, but just be aware if you have high-waisted pants or like sweatpants or something that's going to like irritate your belly button ring. I would say don't do that at the beginning because it's not too hard to heal your belly button. In my opinion, you just have to do the right steps and just be careful about it. I didn't have problems sleeping on my stomach. I don't really sleep on my stomach anyway, but I really didn't have that many problems. And I think if you follow those steps, you should be good. And yeah, so I just thought I would put that in there because I did have someone asking about that. And let's go ahead and see me try on the belly button rings. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what's in this little bag and let's get started. Okay, so the first belly button ring that I have is this cute little heart. Okay, it has a nice little sparkle here. Why isn't it focusing? I'm going to be trying them on so you guys can see them better, but basically it's this cute little heart with a sparkle on it and then more sparkles on the heart. Super cute. Also, these are all dangly, I'm pretty sure, basically because that's the ones that I like. And before you ask, no, it does not get caught on my 
clothing does not it's not painful i got my belly button pierced when i was 16 and i am about to be 21 so literally five years i've had this in so i don't have any issues you might at first but i'm pretty sure at least for the first six to eight months you're supposed to have one of those studs in anyway and which i did so once it heals then you can start changing it and putting in danglies so then the next one i have again i believe this is a heart it's like some type of heart with then again more hearts of the little crystals so it looks like this super cute you guys can tell the theme that I like. I really like that one because it's a little more dangly than the other one, so it depends what vibe you're going for, but still super cute and sparkly. The next one I have I think is really adorable. So it has a butterfly on it and then it has like a little stem of a flower or some type of plant. This one is super blingy and cute and instead of just having a regular crystal here, it's a whole butterfly. So I think that's really cute. Um, and yeah, I really like the butterfly and just I think it's like almost like a butterfly on a flower or something, but really cute. Okay, so here's the next one. You guys can see it's a little butterfly and then the little um, plant. So this one's not as dangly, but it's still, I'm sure, is considered a dangly. That's what it looks like. Does it move? Ooh, it still moves. Can you hear it? <laughs> but this is what it looks like. Super cute. The hair. So here's this one. I'm not exactly sure, it just might be like a little squiggle and it has a, a little crystal at the bottom and a crystal at the top. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Super sparkly, super cute. And I believe it's a little crystal at the bottom. Oh, no, I'm gonna say it's blue, but no, it's actually all just clear. Like, look, it literally like swings back and forth. Whoa, it's like a little pendulum. If anyone knows what this little thing is, let me know. I don't know what it is, but it's cute anyways. Okay, this is an old one, but it basically looks like this. It's super blingy and long. It looks like this. It's not a dream catcher, but it has a circle with all these little diamonds, fake little diamonds in it, and then this fringe at the bottom and then the regular like this. This one's very dangly and very cute. Let's see, we got another one in here. Okay, this one's really cute too very sparkly. It has a huge big gem at the bottom and this one does look like it's kind of light blue or lilac. And then I have a bow right here and then I have the little sparkles and the sparkle at the top too. Super duper cute. That's really cute. The last one I have, I'm wearing, so I'm gonna take it off real quick. But basically, this is the one I'm wearing right now. Looks like this, has a flower with two little fringy dangling things right here, and then it has this. But yeah, super sparkly flower like this. It comes with the little thing right here, I just took it off. And I think this one's so adorable. It's dangly, but it's also very cute and simple. Okay, so this is the one that I have been wearing lately that I have on. So this is what it looks like. So you can see it has this and it goes sparkle and it's like a little, um, what's it called? Flower and then these two little dangly beads and it has sparkles both at the bottom. So this is what it looks like. Super cute in my opinion. And it does a little. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But yeah, 
basically i have always wanted a belly button piercing and so the day that i turned 16 i literally went that day got it done i am not a person who really likes needles i mean who does but honestly i ha used to have a phobia of needles i'm getting better but during that time when I was 16 years old, that is not something that you would have expected me, even me expected myself to do. But because I wanted it so much, I really didn't care at all about the needle, about anything. I didn't think that I was like, no, I need it. And once I was able to get a dangly, I immediately did that too. I feel like it, if, if people want me to do a video about my belly button experience, like getting it pierced and everything like that, I definitely can do that because I know it's helpful for people who are researching about it and wondering if, if, if it's worth it. I definitely think it is. I really love them. Obviously, as you guys can tell by my collection of all the belly button rings, I have a lot of fun with them. I love to be blinged out. I love them to be dangly and adorable. I think it's so fun. If this was your sign to go get your belly button pierced, do it. If this was your sign to go get a dangly, a cute belly button ring, do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, subscribe to my post notifications, leave a comment, all of that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.